I'm, I'm Leanne Mella. I'm the head of profession for delivery management at Justice Digital. Um, and one of the sort of co-founders of the uh, CrossGov tripod scheme. DWP? Sorry. Is that me? Yes. Or is that... <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Barry Trace. I'm the head of role for Agile Delivery from DWP. Lots of you know me because we run the CrossGov Delivery Community. Uh, I think this is a great initiative that we've already tried out and it's been really successful. So DWP, yay. <laughs> Ofsted. No. Don't look like we've got to. Sam. That's, that's no worries. I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Uh, so I'm Jill, Jill Wright. I'm head of profession for Agile Delivery um, of the Department for Education. So we've not been part of the tripod scheme um, before. This is the first time. So very much looking forward to it. Um, it's probably worth us calling out. It did used to be called the, tri the triad scheme. So um, that name may be familiar with some of you um, who have already uh, had a session such as this and, and been involved in the scheme but yeah we've it's been rebranded renamed as tri the tripod scheme um i'll pass over to someone from hfc hi my name's andy lucas i'm deputy D director head of digital for hsc there's a number of colleagues on from hsc here um we're a small arms length body uh our mothership is dwp uh, we're always we're already connected to DWP in a number of areas. So looking forward to meeting and working with other colleagues from other departments. Um, we can only learn from you. Thank you. I think it's me next. So uh, hi, I'm Matt Lilly. I'm the uh, head of role for delivery at the Home Office. Um, I've seen at least a couple of uh, Home Office folk on here. Um, so yeah, would encourage uh, everybody to uh, sign up for the scheme. I think it's going to be uh, really helpful sort of uh, knowledge sharing across uh, across government and I think we've got a lot to learn from each other. Uh, I think GDS is the one time over to you. Is that working? It is. Cool. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Nick Smith. I'm Head of Profession for Agile Delivery at GDS. Uh, I can definitely, I was a bit late to this, so I think what we're doing is introducing ourselves. I can see some other GDS colleagues on this call, so it's great that people have um, come. There are lots of people who are interested in this from GDS uh, for all the reasons that other people have mentioned. So yeah, we're really interested in finding out what's happening in other parts of government. Um, and yeah, I look forward to, to people meeting up. I'm not sure if he's got Sam, so shall we just carry on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. OK, so um, we're going to uh, during the next 23 minutes or, or thereabouts, we're going to run through various things to give you um, uh, an overview as to what the tripod scheme is, um, as well as, you know, why? Why should you join? You know, all the all those lovely reasons. And um, we're going to talk about who it's for. Um, and like I said before, this scheme has already um, been in place uh, when it was called the triad scheme. So we do have people who have been on it, who have really gained um, in lots of different ways from being part being part of the scheme. So we've got some feedback to share with you as well, um, as well as some tips for success. Um, and then we'll get into the details of, you know, if you're interested, which hopefully you will be, how do you get involved? How do you join? Um, We'll also cover it off um, for those of you who have already been in the triad um, scheme, um, you know, how perhaps uh, it, what it means for you going forward in the tripod scheme. Um, and then we'll run through uh, kind of uh, contact details. Go on to the next slide. Cool. OK, um, so what's a tripod? So um, it's a group of three people um, that we um, kind of put together. So if you're interested, your names go into a big pot and then we put um, three people together. But the idea is that when these uh, three people get together, uh, it could be face to face if that works or it could be online. Um, you use that that kind of reg regular time period to discuss 
a whole host of things really but perhaps discuss challenges share experiences and um, maybe get support maybe get suggestions um but essentially this is a way by which to um, increase your network so as delivery managers typically although it's not just limited to dms your network is really really key so this is a way by which to build your network um, and to develop it um, typically it will be delivery managers in this tripod um, but if you have got an interest in delivery management and you're not a dm obviously still welcome um, the tripod will be you know it won't be three people from the department for education for example it's going to be a mixture of departments uh, that you're with um so yeah it'll be uh, a person from one of the departments that was listed on on that first slide um the other team members in the group with you will also be at different different stages in their career journey so it is a complete mixed bag in terms of that that group of three um and as a result the the idea is that, that this tripod this group it's all about um giving and receiving support so it's not just one sided it isn't you know about one person coaching and developing the other two this is a mutually beneficial uh, kind of group so go on to the next one okay so um I have kind of detailed why you should join already but you know essentially this is um a great way a proven way to develop your network and to build relationships with other colleagues across government um, it can be quite hard to to do that so hence why this scheme has been created and put into place um it's also a great way to you know uh it's a great way to form that picture of you know what things are going on across government what's going on in moj or or gds or whatnot um it's also a fabulous way for you to, you know, share, you know, your experiences and and reflect on what's going on in your department. Um, so certainly by doing that, it'll give you hopefully a new perspective on things. Um, and obviously it will give you a way in which to get extra support from um, hopefully like minded people. Um, also, uh, depending on how you use your space, um, it might be a means by which to develop new skills. Um, it might be a way in which to challenge your perspective. I would hope it would be actually. That's a kind of a, a key thing. And it's also, it should be a safe space. So, you know, it's a group of people coming together where they feel comfortable to share lots of different things. Okay. Um, so who's it for? Um, so absolutely it's for delivery people, you know, first and foremost. Um, however, um, it can be any delivery person with any, you know, job title. We know it differs quite, you know, uh, it differs across the different um, departments. Even within my own department, it can differ significantly. So it's anyone with a delivery flavoured job title. It's also uh, for anyone of any grade. Um, this isn't a graded space. This is, you know, a great way for anyone regardless of your grade to come together with others same with number of years experience it's kind of a mute point it doesn't matter if you've got one if you've got one month if you've got 20 years it's kind of by the by um, and another great thing it's for civil servants and contractors um, so if you are a contractor and you're interested please get involved you know the, the more different types of people we have within that group the better I think we'll get more value um, and lastly, you know, this is essentially it's about anyone that's interested in other people, you know, whether they're from different department, uh, different grade, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is about other people that are essentially interested in delivery. So I'll hand over to Leanne. Thanks, Jill. Um, so this has been a pilot that we've been running since end of December, beginning of January. And throughout that period, we've gone out to the people who've been taking part in the first iteration of the scheme for a bit of feedback. And this is what they, some of them have said so far. So you'll see some themes here around 
just really interesting to see what other government departments are doing um, in terms of how they're delivering transformed services. The people have found that they face similar problems but have different approaches to resolving them so they've been able to share their different approaches and perhaps different outcomes through these conversations. Um, just generally being able to get advice and guidance from, from other delivery people. I, th I like this one around just growing camaraderie. So by keeping the group really small, so there's just three of you, you can create this sense of just really getting to know each other quite deeply and having that opportunity to hear and, and be heard in that in that really trusting relationship. Um, and just a safe space where you can bounce ideas off each other and, and share interesting things. Through the feedback process, we've also been able to to gather together some different tips for success. So not every triad that we set up worked really well. Not every triad that we set up even met. Um, so we've found out things that maybe haven't gone so well and the things that have gone so well and we summarise these as some tips for success. So the first one to draw your attention to is uh, probably the most important to just do it. So as soon as you get that message um, matching you up with the other two people, be that person who contacts the other people immediately and says, when are we going to meet? Um, don't put that off. You know, say I'm free next Tuesday at this time or, you know, put something together to share your availability and try and get that date in the diary as soon as possible. The more you delay it, the least likely it is that you're going to get that first meeting in the diary. Rinse and repeat. So once you've had that first meeting, use that opportunity to find a repeat slot in your calendars that works for you all and set that up as a repeating slot. So we recommend um, meeting every two to four weeks. That's something that you can decide as a group. But having that calendar invite repeating is going to nudge you to do that. And if you all agree you can't meet, make the next one, at least you know you've got the one after in there. So you've got that rhythm that, that's going to that's going to help you build momentum. Keep an open mind. So this is an important one. We're not matching people because it's not a mentoring or coaching relationship. We're not matching people based on personal attributes or perhaps skills or specific experiences or grades that they might have. The only thing, the only criteria that we look at when matching people is other government departments. That's what you'll be asked for on the sign up sheet, what, what department you belong to. That's it. So you might be matched up with people who are really, really different from you um, or people who are in really, really similar roles and similar stages of their career. But try and keep an open mind that everybody's got something to contribute and something to gain from being matched together. And it's up to you as a group to find out what that is. The train keeps rolling. So we made tripods three legged so that if only two people can meet, so sometimes life happens, um, and somebody might not be able to make it on the day, don't let that wobble you. You can still meet up as a two and then that third person can pick up next time. So the three means that um, it balances out that um, it balances out life. <laughs> the next tip is around giving structure and purpose. So um, think about what you want to get out of it. So something that some tri tripods used was creating a shared that could be just like a, a Word document or Google Doc or something or a Miro board to try and capture ideas for future topics and add those ideas in the run up to the call. You could use something like a lean coffee in your first session to um, to look at the kinds of topics that you might want to to make time for or you might want to start off with a, a manual of me and through going through that kind of activity you might find out topics or things you might want to delve into deeper in, in your subsequent meetups. The final tip is around balancing your triangle. So trying to create space for equal voice. So for everyone to give and receive. It's not a great dynamic if you always have the same person taking up the whole slot with their challenge that week. 
um, or if you always have the same person just giving advice, but not necessarily sharing or opening up about their own challenges. So a little maths lesson here, if anyone can remember triangles, tripods are better as equilaterals rather than uh, scalene triangles. OK. I think who, who was Rob, it that was coming Rob, up this way? Rob. Rob. Sorry, let me go off mute. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and thank you for that, Leanne. So how do I join? Uh, firstly, you can fill in the form that's on the presentation or the link that um, Loretta has kindly embedded in the chat. You'll then get matched with two other people um, and between yourselves, arrange a time. It's an open format session, um, but to help us um, get started, you might want to use something such as Manual of Me as your activity. Agree the date, time and frequency of your future meetups. As has been said before, we recommend every two to four weeks at a regular repeating slot just to make it easy. I will check in from you from time to time to see how you're getting on. Next slide, please. So here we have a rough timeline. Can you just go back? Thank you. So apply. So within one week, you should be matched. We recommend a week after that, your first meetup. And as we've discussed before, every two to four weeks, repeat and then review. Find out if it's working for you. Next slide, please. OK, so what happens if you're already in a tripod? Well, as we said, it's not descriptive and you're free to make a decision that best suits you. So you can stick, continue with your tripod. You don't need to do anything. Just keep meeting up. You might want to add continue with the tripod and also join, join a new one, open and grow your network. So continue your tripod, join a new one and fill in the new form. Mm. And it may be that you want to change. So end the current tripod and join a new one. Make sure you can communicate with your current tripod and also fill in the new form. Can I just add something there? Yeah. Sorry. I know it said tripod, but you might have known, uh, I think Jill said that in her intro that it was called a triad. So you might be in yeah. a triad at the moment and those are your options. Just just for clarity there. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Loretta. Right, there's various contacts that you can use to get hold of us. Um, I will say that the contact for DWP is um, myself now, so that has changed. And I'll make sure that my contact details are in the chat as well. So, Ju sorry, I was just going to say Julia's on the line if she wants to have a have a, a word about because she's already in a, a triad or a tripod. <laughs> just uh, just to see how it's going for her. Yeah, hiya. Um, yeah, I've, I've been part of the triad scheme and actually um, am partnered up with Leanne uh, and another lady called Claire. So we have a mix of um, myself uh, I'm a, and I'm a lead delivery manager. Claire's obviously had a, sorry, Claire's a delivery manager and I've got Leanne who's had a profession. So we're all, all at different stages in our careers and have different things to bring to the mix. Um, we did, as Leanne suggested, we reached out quite quickly and set up the meetings and started off with a two, two weekly cycle. Which helped us sort of build bonds and build relationships. I'm relatively new to DWP, so I didn't have many contacts outside of DWP in, in government. So that's one of the major reasons I, I wanted to, to build a network. Um, so when we start the sessions, we, we created a mirror board of the topics that we wanted to discuss. Or mi mirror board, is it mirror? We're all Europe. Anyways, we, we had a we had a, like a, a a board where we we had ideas on what we wanted to discuss, and and on a fortnightly basis we would pick them off um, in priority order and and just basically go around the table and discuss ways yeah. we could resolve it. And so some of the topics we've discussed have been mm -hmm. from like my perspective. I, I was initiating scrum of scrums again on in my PDU and was looking for advice on on how to make make it successful and if the, either of them had done that because. We had done it previously on on the PDU and it and the attendance was was waning. So we're looking at different ways to improve it. We've also looked at the org structure and 
our own particular roles, our day to day activities, um, how our roles are, dif are different between each each department, etc. So there's been loads of different topics that we've addressed. Um, Leanne and I have met up on a couple of occasions um, by ourselves as well, um, um, with Claire not being available, and it has been useful. And so we're just we're just keep we're just keeping going with it and trying to get useful topics in regularly. That's brilliant. Thanks. Thank you for that, Julia. Thanks. So we've got um, about five minutes left of the call uh, to be able to answer any questions that anybody might have about it. And I'm going to stop sharing so that I can um, see faces again. Have there been any questions come in the in the chat at all? Or if anybody has one, just um, just come off mic and just share your question. I can see one question in the chat. It says, when is it a good time to join? I'm very new to government. Today. Today yeah, that's what Barry say. said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the perfect, the be, the absolute best time is today, isn't it? Because that's when you'll get the most benefit. The best time and, was six months ago. Yeah. But like the second best time is today. <laughs> And there was a there was a question at the top. I think I don't know if it got answered about um, sharing documents. Did you see that one by Sarah? Do you want to read it out, Nick? Yeah, I can read it out. Uh, it would be helpful to be able to share documents between members of the tripod. Will we have access to Google Docs or some other app where we can collaborate on a document, please? Um, I think this is always an issue, and the best I've been able to do is find a place that is, I don't know if there's a, a standard place that, that we've got Leanne or the previous teams had, no. Um, so what we tend to do is find the best place between the different departments that you might be matched with. Um, there's a list actually out there on the interwebs um, that shows, that was used to be cura curated by some people at one team government, um, which uh, shared like what was available for different departments. That might still be useful. That's the best I can suggest. It's always a problem. So I, I think there's a thing I, that, that I, there's not going to be any specific relaxation of the rules. So DWP, for example, we're not going to suddenly get access to Google Docs. Um, I think whatever, as Nick says, whatever tripod you're in, whichever combination of departments you're in, you might find there's something that works for you. And that'd be great if you could share that. Also remembering, of course, about what you put in there has got to comply with your department's rules and security and so on. So, so you've got a few in, hands. So, can I just jump in there? So within CNCS we have a project running called Cross Our Collaboration that's due to be fully live from the 17th of July for outbound. So if say for instance you were collaborating with somebody from Treasury and they were willing to host a SharePoint site then we allow access into that to share and upload documents etc and inbound the other way around is coming in uh, in a couple of months or so time as well so that will start to open up and give that ability to share documents across teams and sharepoint etc if people are on like cross gov slack slack or something like that you could just make a chat with the the three of you in there and that could be somewhere where you just share topics in there so it could be something quite light light touch or yeah in the instance um with my triad i'm able to set up miro boards with open permissions so i was able to set something up that others were, were able to access on their laptop so yeah there, there's no one size fits all um but something to figure out on your first call together we've got a few hands up um andy yeah, it was just a summary, really. Uh, essentially, you're going to have like an FA Cup draw, I assume, at some point, and everybody who's registered will be um, put into a tripod, three people, and then we will be notified. Is that the case? So you can you are centralising the FA Cup draw. I'm hoping not to get mm -hmm. Stephen in your way, but you know, I'm always <laughs> willing to learn. Um, but I, I assume that's it. So we all, we all register, and then at some yes. point, we're all going to be paired. Yes, I yes. guess there may be some issues with that if we've got a lot of people from one department and not so many from others, but I'll leave that with you guys to sort. 
that will be Rob's headache to sort, sadly. <laughs> um, so some, somebody also mentioned about if they had a uh, interest in a specific department. We don't have a place to indicate indicate that there um, just because that's going to make Rob's job more complex. So the criteria really is going to be putting people together from three different departments and it's going to just be um, a little tombola of who you get matched with. Um, but you'll get an email from Rob with three other people in it that says this is your tripod off your pop. Go and set, go and set up a date. Um, so that, that's how it will. That's how it will work and that'll be in about a week, a week or so's time. But you know, depending on demand. But yeah, if there's an inundation of like, if there's just, you know, hundreds of people from a single department, I think Rob will make a call of whether to just hold off and let a few more people fill it in from other departments to try and get a balance. The, the goal always being to, to, to jumble people up. We have another hand. Uh, is that me? Yeah, sorry, it's just to digress the conversation. Uh, in terms of uh, collaboration and sharing documents, I think Les has mentioned it, but we at the Home Office, we are able to, to create collaboration spaces with teams, within teams, so we can actually, and we have tested this with many government organisations, cross government for other projects, so we can create that collaboration space where we can share documents as well. It's been tested, it's available. Fabulous. Hope you get matched with somebody from Home Office then. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are at time now, everybody. Um, the rotate. Oh, uh, just a quick question of rotating people in the future. So that was the decision point. So if you're currently in a tripod or a triad, you've got a decision now whether you want to stick, um, add, or twist and join another one. So if you'd like to twist. This is your permission slip to notify the other people in your tripod. No one's going to be offended and just say, um, um, I'm happy to, you know, I'm looking to expand my network. I'm going to I'm going to twist this time round. Doesn't mean you can't keep in touch, um, but it just means that you're, you're going to um, change over into a different tripod. So that's the way that you'd, you'd shuffle up, shuffle the members. <laughs> Yeah, who's going to win? Um, I don't know what's like a top. Who's going to win the hamper, the top prize on the tombola at like the village fair? Who's going to who's going to win the hamper full of uh, jam and cakes? Um, <laughs> thank you so much for your time and attention today. Um, I hope you're all filling in that form and best of luck in your tripods. I can't wait to see uh, the feedback that will come through uh, once we hear about this fresh expansion. Who knows? We'll maybe take it even wider next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.